Hey what's going on guys tan bhai for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under network security and today's topic is going to be counter algorithm mode so this is sort of like the last algorithm mode which we are going to be covering and in the previous couple of videos in fact in the previous four videos we've covered all the different types of algorithm modes which operate on block ciphers for example we started off with electronic code book then we saw cipher block chaining then we saw cipher feedback then output feedback and this is the fifth video under the algorithm modes topic so this is going to be the last type of algorithm operating mode that we are going to see and if you have missed any of the previous videos from network security you can check out this playlist i'll drop the link of this playlist in the video description and you can also see a card and with that being said let's start off with today's topic so the operation of counter mode is fairly simple again it operates on block ciphers that is it performs encryption and decryption block by block and not by stream so what happens is instead of the iv which we've been using in the past couple of types of algorithm mode that is we saw this iv in cipher feedback output feedback in counter mode we have something which is known as a counter so you can see in this diagram right so this counter is nothing but again random string inputs and it would be a number which is going to be following a certain sequence so what happens is it uses a sequence numbers called as counters as the input and usually a constant value is used as the initial counter value and what happens is after every iteration the counter value is incremented by one or by a particular constant value so the size of the counter block is same as that of the plain text so let's say if the block size of this entire algorithm mode is fixed at 64 bit so this size of the counter string or the number or any value that we are taking and of course it's going to be in digital so it's going to be zeros and ones right so the size would be 64 bits okay also the key is going to be 64 bit so once the size of the key is selected the block size is then fixed according to that key it might be different but generally it is the same then what happens is we use the key to encrypt this counter value so this counter is again a random constant number that we are selecting just to add more randomness so we encrypt the counter using the key then we perform an xor operation between the encrypted counter so here at this stage we get encrypted counter right so we take that and we perform xor operation with the plain text block 1 so your plain text might be more than 64 bits right so you have to divide it in 64 bit blocks so depending upon number of blocks you have to perform this operation again and again so after performing xor operation you get the cipher text so this is cipher text block 1 and you can notice that there is no feedback mechanism directly so this is basically for the first iteration this is the second iteration so this is step number 1 this is step number 2 and then you have multiple steps in between and this is the step number n depending upon what is the size of the plain text but you can see that there is no feedback mechanism so if you've seen the previous videos of cipher feedback or output feedback or cipher block chaining there was a mechanism wherein some part from the first iteration was being provided to the second part but here since we are using the counter what we are doing is in order to make it more random we are just incrementing the counter by 1 now we can increment it by 2 3 or any number which is fixed but that value has to be fixed or there has to be a sequence so after we increment the counter when we encrypt it using the same key the encryption result will be different right so the encrypted counter at first step that is over here is not going to be equal to encrypted ctr that is counter at this step right so it's not going to be equal because we've incremented the counter and then we are encrypting it with the same key so we get the different result and then when we get the different result when we xor it with the plain text block 2 even if the plain text block 1 and 2 are same the xor result is going to be different right so the cipher block text 2 is going to be different so these two are never going to be equal and it's highly unlikely that these two are going to be equal right so i hope you understand how we add more randomness using the counter mode so yeah this was the working of counter algorithm mode and how it works and the encryption process if you are talking about the decryption then the decryption would be exactly opposite to this so in decryption at the receiver's end the receiver would have this counter value right he would take that counter he would again encrypt the counter using the key and then he would perform xor operation with the cipher text okay so if i just reverse this arrow and reverse this arrow so the xor operation would be happening between encrypted counter and the cipher text okay 
and the result would be plain text block n. Similarly, for this stage also, we are going to be doing the same thing. That is, we are going to take an XOR operation between the encrypted counter and the cipher text. And then we will get the result as plain text block 2. And similarly, the same thing is going to be performed over here to get back the plain text. So yeah, this was the complete working of counter mode algorithm mode, which is again working on block ciphers and block of code and not stream ciphers. And instead of using the IV and any kind of feedback mechanism, we're using a constant value, which is known as counter and we are incrementing it at every iteration. So this eliminates the use or need of that feedback mechanism and chaining mechanism. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood this counter mode. And if you have understood this, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments that you like this video. And if you have any doubts, you can also put that in the comments. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.